Hello everyone, my name is Jackie Azacano and I'm a member of the Member Engagement Team for the North Carolina Association of CPAs. Today I'm going to take a few minutes to review the basic features of Connect, which is NCA CPA's new online community website. First, let's talk a bit about what Connect is. Through Connect, you'll be able to connect and communicate online with other NCA CPA members. You'll be able to participate in discussion groups and take advantage of the industry knowledge base. You'll have access to document and digital media libraries, as well as a comprehensive membership directory. And for our volunteer leaders, you'll also be able to manage your work within committees and chapters. So let's get started. The first step to using Connect is to log in. Using your browser, go to connect.ncacpa.org and then click the login link in the upper right hand corner. You'll see it reads login to see members only content. After clicking the login button, you'll see that you are redirected to ncacpa.org for your login credentials. You will log in using your same ncacpa.org username and password. If you don't remember your password, click the forgot your password link and follow the instructions for resetting your password. Also, if you're using a personal computer, check the remember me box. It will keep your login credentials and logging in next time will be quick and easy. After you click login, you'll be taken back to Connect. The next step is to enhance your profile on Connect. You can access your profile in two ways. In the upper right hand corner, click profile, or on the navigation bar, click my profile. As an NCACPA member, you will already have some of your profile populated from your NCACPA profile, such as your name, organization, and basic contact information. But you'll want to fill out any of the missing information or update old information. First, if you need to edit any of the existing contact information, click Edit Contact Information. You'll be redirected to your NCACPA profile to make any updates. You'll be able to edit your name, phone numbers, email address, and birth date. If you need to make edits to your organization or address, you'll need to make those edits by emailing memberservices at ncacpa.org, or you can call our Member Service Center at 800-469-1352. Please note that any edits made to this portion of your contact information will be made on Connect and your NCACPA profile. So once you have those changes to your profile, you would click Save and navigate back to your Connect profile. To see the edits that were made, click Refresh My Profile. The remaining Connect profile will remain in your Connect profile only. You are welcome to share as much or as little information as you'd like, keeping in mind that the more you share, the easier it will be to make connections. If you have a LinkedIn account, Connect can do most of the profile work for you, and it's a real time saver. Simply click on Import Your Info, and it will ask for your LinkedIn username and password. There you'll be able to choose the information you want to bring over and transfer to your Connect profile. In the future, if you make any updates to your LinkedIn profile, you can easily update your Connect profile by clicking the Import Your Information button and selecting the information you'd like to update. If you don't have a LinkedIn profile, you can make your own edits to your profile by clicking on any of the green Add buttons next to all the headers. You can add a photo, edit your bio, job history, etc. You can add links to your social media profiles so others can find you there as well. Feel free to let others know of your honors and awards and professional affiliations. The area of interest field is something that is coming over from your existing NCACPA profile. If you need to make changes to your areas of interest, scroll back up and click Edit Contact Information. And it will take you to your NCACPA profile. Scroll down to Areas of Interest and you can add, delete, as you'd like. After you're satisfied with your changes, navigate back to Connect and click Refresh My Profile to see the edits that were made. You'll see that the more information you fill out, the more networks that are available to you. To see the networks, go to My Connections, 
and select networks. If you click any of these links, you'll be taken to a list of members that fall into those networks as well, making it easier to connect with members like you. Once you've updated your profile, you'll want to customize your privacy settings. Your privacy settings allow you to share or hide certain aspects of your profile. To find your privacy settings, click on My Account and select Privacy Settings from the drop-down menu. Now you'll see the different options available to you for your editing your privacy settings. I'll review with you exactly what each one means. If you set anything to My Contacts, that means that only your connections, meaning those on your My Contacts list and Connect, will be able to view that information. If you select Members Only, that means that only NCACPA members will be able to view that information in your profile, which means that if an NCACPA member is on Connect and logged in using their username and password, they will be able to view that information on your profile. If you select Public, then anyone who visits Connect will be able to view your information without logging in. If you select Only Me, then no one else will be able to view this information. You are the only one able to view those details. By default, NCACPA does not share your email address or phone numbers via Connect. You can view your own full contact information, but others cannot. You can change what personal contact information others can view using these privacy settings. Next, you'll want to set your email preferences to determine how often you'd like to receive notifications from Connect. To edit those, select Subscriptions from the drop-down menu. You'll see a list of communities available to you and the options available for your email preferences. I'll review each of these options. Real Time. Whenever someone posts to a community, you would receive an email instantly. This can mean several emails per day, depending on how active the discussions are. If you select Daily Digest, You'll receive one email per day with all the posts consolidated into one email. This is the most popular option because it helps reduce the number of emails you receive per day, but it keeps you in the loop of any discussions that are happening. If there is nothing happening in a subscribed community, you will not receive an email. If you select no emails, you will no longer receive emails when discussions are posted to the community. However, you will still have access to view the community online. If you select unsubscribe, you will no longer receive emails from this community and you cannot access the community online. You are unsubscribing from the group. Now that you have your profile updated, your privacy settings set, and your email preferences how you want them, let's start connecting with your colleagues. Connect has a searchable directory found by clicking on the directory in the navigation bar. From here, you can do a simple search based on a member's first or last name, email address, or organization. If you'd like more options, click on Advanced Search. Here, you can search by location, community, member group, or areas of interest. If you'd like to add any members to your personal contacts, simply click on the link and search. If you click on Add as a Contact, it will send a notification to that member and they can accept or decline your invitation. Or you can choose to send that contact a message directly. Just click on Send a Message and there you just need to fill out a subject line and enter your message. It will be delivered to that member immediately. Cancel there. Next, you'll want to check out your communities. As an NCACPA member, you are automatically enrolled in the Open Forum community. If you are a member of select NCACPA committees, you will see some of the other committee communities listed as well. As users get accustomed to using Connect and the Open Forum, we'll be adding new communities specific to areas of interest, such as auditing, taxation, healthcare, accounting education, and more. In the meantime, please post all your questions to the open forum. To see a list of communities that you are a member of, click My Communities. A list will display of the communities you currently belong, 
and simply click on the name of the community you'd like to engage in. From here, you can view the recent activity, any announcements, you can view the, you can view the previous discussions, and you can also view all the members of that community. If you'd like to post a question or share a resource with the community, go to Participate, post a message, and it will take you to a simple form to complete. Select the community you'd like to post your question to, enter a subject line, and add your message in the box below using the toolbar here for any formatting options. I'd like to note that if you plan to copy and paste all or part of your message, please first use a tool like Notepad to remove any HTML formatting from the source you copied, then paste it into this form. You also have an option to add an attachment to your message. If you have an attachment, select the Attach button and click on the blue Choose button to select the file from your computer. Once you have selected the files to upload, click the green Upload Files button. Once the files have been uploaded, you'll click Next and name your library and add a brief description. Any file that you attach to a post will automatically be added to the library for that community. That's a brief overview of Connect. As members get acquainted with this new online community, we'll be adding features such as event-specific communities and a mentor match program. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, Jackie Azacano, at 919-469-1040 at extension 141. Or you can email me at jazacano, that's J-A-S-E-K-H-A-U-N-O, at ncacpa.org. You can also submit any questions on Connect using the Contact Us form found at the top right hand side of Connect. We are so excited to be launching Connect and hope you find this a useful tool and member benefit. Thank you for all your time and enjoy Connect.